What's happening guys, Oliver here from Smiley Reacts, here to react to the next episode of Aurora Argimon. I swear I was going to get it right that time, I swear. Orai Monokatari, I think that's how you say it. Ori Monokatari. It's right there too, Oliver, damn it. <laughs> Don't need to look at the top of the screen. Uh, <laughs> uh, dear me. So, <laughs> this show, this show, this, well, I should say, this arc, this um, part of the uh, series, is it has been really good, like, all the way through, like, so far, I'm so this is um, episode four, well, I should say that, this is Oragi, Oragi, <laughs> Orai Monokatari episode four, so, this, I'm going to do this, <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm going to do this. Um, so last time, we got a bit more serious and we learnt more about um, uh, Sodachi's um, past and plus also Agaragi's past. It looks like Agaragi um, spent some time at um, a place learning maths and turns out that her life was not that great. It turns out that she was in a house of domestic violence and apparently even though she told Agaragi not to crutch and things, she still wanted apparently to for Agaragi to inform his parents who are police officers that something was not quite right. So I don't know how she was going to go about doing that without, you know, actually telling him that there was something wrong. I guess that's a one good reason why she would hold a grudge against him all these years. And apparently, in the end, that the marriage, her parents' marriage, fell apart. And I don't, we don't know which, um, which family member she went with, either the dad or the mum, it's not said, but she changed her name, and um, so years later when they met up again, when Agaragi and Sorachi, I think that's her name, it's right there, Sorachi, um, met up again, Agaragi didn't realise it was her, mind you, Agaragi has forgotten up to this point, until this point I should say, that he actually met her as a child, so yeah, that sort of happened. So that's pretty much where we left off, and so I think without further ado, we should jump into episode four, and I want to see the rest of this mystery as it unfolds. So here we go in three, two, one. So that she lost. Dr. Oshino. Okay, so she is who she is. Let's have Japanese class. <laughs> and four words or less. Answer within 20 words. Okay. Part one, so it's a new, new arc. Even though it's part of the same arc. I really do know everything. Yep. 
Oh, he knows what she knows. Exactly. You don't know what Uragi is thinking. <laughs> She's not tailing us. Why would she be tailing us? <laughs> that would be interesting if she was. That's a good point. <laughs> Gotta throw her off the track. <laughs> I don't think she actually meant actually throwing her. But anyway. Hmm. But she's not Ashino. Feelings of cuteness. <laughs> to end up like, not end up like Ashino. <laughs> right, yeah, another new cute underclassman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Again, yeah. Mm, that's all debatable. Good. <laughs> Nope. No, I'm pretty sure she's talking about. Yep. Yeah, it seems like Agarag is not on the right same page. Yeah, he's... that's not probably not going to happen anyway. Why would Hanukkah be protecting Agaragi? Interesting. Oh yeah, he's vice president, isn't he? Oh, I had this account address. Oh, okay, so she disappeared again. Oh, okay. So they have both disappeared. So it's, there's both of them, okay. So which one did he choose? Girlf Girlfriend? Or the moral enemy. <laughs> the 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 enemy, okay. To these circumstances, so what happened? Oogie.
No, okay, so what are you doing? Yeah, something else is going on. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit weird. Non-revolting sushi. <laughs> hmm, she's definitely weird. <laughs> Don't have any money. Yeah, the current address. No. Yep, became too talkative again. <laughs> Did she just silence him? Velcro! <laughs> Charging in <laughs> yesterday, but I thought it was I was forced to explain yet. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's living apart. Well, she was abused. Living on her own. Okay. So uh, yeah, divorce the parents divorced five years ago, then then returned two years ago. Well, it's like Argy Semper. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> she does have a point, you know. The non revolting sushi. <laughs> But so how did she he how did Agaragi end up with Hanukkah then? I'm very interested in this girl. She's just so interesting. No. Oh, that's that's a cool effect. So where does Hanukkah fit into this? Oh, there she is. Hello, Hanukkah. Just 
Found him at the right time. Yep, she doesn't trust. Yep. Oh. She's just saying this because Hanukkah showed up. Wow, she's so close. No, you're not becoming his girlfriend. <laughs> that Hanukkah would kill you. Not Hanukkah. Well, Hanukkah would probably do something, but Senya Grahara would kill you. Oh boy. You're making Hanukkah angry. That's... Oh boy. You are genius. <laughs> oh, this, she didn't know beforehand. Hanukkah didn't know beforehand that she is the niece. Damn. Yeah, that's definitely not nice. Don't know anything. Oh, that's a nice um, play on what she says. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want Agaragi to be upset with you. Hmm. She's she can be quite terrifying. That's the first someone wanting to save him. Yeah. Great for crane. A battle of the minds, in other words.
Yep, there we go. She's right about that. Be a long one to begin with, yep. Oh, a drama party. I like it how the like the sky has gone completely red throughout this in, this scene. Oh. He's like um, a deer in the headlights now. <laughs> So what's your decision? Well, he goes with. Oh boy. Mm. Wow, why did she become so tall all of a sudden? <laughs> Annika's going to say something now. No oh boy. <laughs> really? Really? I I really doubt that, Hanukkah. <laughs> oh mm, yeah, if, if she's living by herself then and yeah, that she'd be getting some sort of aid from somewhere. That's a good question. Cold hearted. That's true, so it would be a bit more difficult for him to remember th these events. That's a good point. But it's like after, what, 3, 4 p.m.? <laughs> really? Why do you, why, what's... Hanukkah, okay, did something happen?
Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> she has a point. But why was... Seriously, why was Hanukkah walking like that? I feel like something happened that she's not saying. <laughs> Maybe I'm looking into it a bit too much. Wow, that was quick. I swear these episodes just fly by when I start watching them. <laughs> That was a really, another really great episode. Like, I have, there's seriously no complaints at all for this series. How is that? How is that? How do I have no complaints at all? This is, like, really enjoyable. But anyway, maybe someone could explain to me the reason behind Hanukkah just then, because... It looked like something was off with her, and that she was hiding something from Agaragi. I don't know what. Or is it that I'm just looking, looking too far into it? Please let me know. So next episode will be the confrontation between Agaragi and uh, Sugeku. Sugeki? Sorry, I really cannot remember her name. Even though it's meant to be her arc. Okay. So, that was Ori Monogatari episode 4. Good episode, again, really great episode, really enjoying this. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter and add me as a friend on my anime, li my anime list, both of those in the description as always. Please, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow. And I will be back for more reactions tomorrow. I'll be finishing off... Um, let's see, I'll be finishing off uh, Miss Kazumi Loves Ramen Noodles and Eurocamps. So look forward to those. And I will see you soon for some more reactions. Bye, guys.